the drivers for growth in the infrastructure market are clearly all stemming from you know the increased use of video and just all the bandwidth requirements that is sort of driving up both the server capacity as well as the storage capacity and networking capacity frankly so the move to the cloud is uh, is a big driver for the infrastructure business the uh, digital power uh, portfolio that Innercell possesses. That technology is reaching an inflection point where the adoption rate is really moving in the, in the right direction and we're gaining traction. The market is evolving uh, from you know, the analog control world. You, you, you have these sort of digital wrappers that provide the communication capability but it's still an analog control loop and is now sort of moving more into the fully digital uh, domain. The strength of the uh, digital controller uh, products that we have, fundamentally uh, those products are more highly integrated than analog controllers. They integrate uh, sequencing, for example, so if you have multiple supplies in the system, they'll bring up the voltage rails in the right sequence. You can provision that power. The voltage converters are essentially powering the loads uh, at the appropriate level with required level of efficiency. And so I think that's a, uh, one of the strong advantages of digital control in these systems. So the Power Navigator is essentially a graphic user interface. Uh, our customers' designers can use to essentially design their power systems. It allows them to map out the different power converters they need in their system to support the different loads. And then uh, they can configure each of those power supplies through the tool in order to program the parts themselves on the board. We're filling a very strong need that customers have to design increasingly complex systems with a very uh, capable uh, software tool and I think since that market has now moved to full digital control that there's a significant opportunity for us with that new platform.